Monday, March the 1st. <sighs> My birthday is in two days. Yay! Not really, but, well, I mean, yes, yay. But, oh, I'm starting to feel it. So, all right, I'm pretty sure that this pain in my back is a damn kidney stone. Yay. But, uh, yeah. So, today I'm grateful for my health that I do have, the home that I have to live in, and the fact that I am being presented with multiple opportunities for employment, which, you know, it was a problem for a while, so now I have my, my options. So anyway, something uh, different happened last night. I went to a uh, food line on my way home from work to get stuff for my smoothie. And uh, I'm walking down to go to the frozen fruit. And uh, I hear, hey, Eric, or whatever. And I stopped, and she's like, act like you don't know, buddy. And, or don't know nobody and honestly at first I had to like really look and be like who the fuck is this but I realized quickly that it was uh Sunny and uh she walks up and you know she's like how you been da 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 you alright and I was just like yeah I mean <laughs> I mean it didn't it didn't affect me at all like I didn't think anything good or bad you know it was just another person in the store and uh, I went to go get my stuff for my smoothie and of course they didn't have it so I ended up having to go to Walmart and uh, then I went to Walmart and when I pull in, the truck in front of me, he's got a big old rooster on the, on the back of it. You know, and I just smiled and I was like, all right. And uh, I went in and got my stuff there. But something crazy happened though when, when this, after this happened. Last night, I had a dream about it and <laughs> in the dream when I looked down the aisle it was uh it was her still walking towards me but she was like straight up Satan and you know I'm seeing although she had a mask on I uh I see the effects that that drug is having on her and uh you know I do feel bad about it. I feel bad for her, but you know, nobody can change her until she wants to change her. And she may never want to change. So, and I saw she was doing the, pretty much the same shit she's always been doing. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I hope the best for her. I really do. I hope the best for all of them, honestly. And uh, I hope they all get to learn what, you know, their demons are. And, and I hope that they get the opportunity to work on theirs and recover from their addictions. Because, you know, that lifestyle is not for anyone. But, you know, that was a, that was a good feeling. And, uh, yeah, like, I don't have a need to, you know, if it was a few months ago, I'd have probably been asking her if she had something on her. So, you know, I'm 
that didn't even cross my mind. So, that's good. I don't like this weather. It's raining. It's supposed to be raining for another day or so. But today is day two with no cigarettes at all, which is pretty good. Um, made an appointment at school to go print some stuff off. Got some homework to do today. Um, I am going to do it. And, uh, I had a, I had a dream also about vicious fishes and, you know, it was like a like a goodbye dream type thing. It was weird. <clears throat> but it, you know, I thanked everybody for everything that they taught me and <clears throat> told Luis and Duke, you know, that they, they taught me a lot. And I really appreciate it. And uh, you know, that I, I will see them, but you know, I'll be coming in to, to eat instead. <clears throat> um but, you know, in a way, it's kind of sad, but, you know, in another way, it's like, okay, you know, this was just another stepping stone. And, you know, in my process, <laughs> you know, I had to be, I had to be tested with, you know, small amounts of responsibility and um, smaller amounts of everything, you know, before I could be trusted and led into stuff with bigger responsibility and bigger benefits and all of that and different types of workloads and stresses and all that <laughs> but uh feels really good at the same time Whew. I gotta stay off these cigarettes like I'm out of breath I'm tired <sighs> but uh yeah <sighs> so my prayer today is Lord I pray that you uh, watch over me as you have been watch over everybody that I love and care about please watch over my friends and enemies may everybody who is hurting and suffering find some peace and hope in what they're going through God I pray that you help me get into the best mental physical and spiritual shape in my life I want to know you on a level that I never thought possible. Please. I thank you for everything that you have given me. Everything you have done for me. Everything that you will do for me. God, I pray that everything I say and do today is a direct reflection of you and your love. Not only for me, but for the entire world. And I pray, Lord, that I may be a voice or a light in somebody's life today. And I really do mean that. I'm trying very hard and I've made a lot of progress, but I still got a lot to go. And uh, I just want to do what's right in your eyes. I pray that you keep me strong and focused through this. And I, I really hope that, you know, you watch over everybody. Thank you. Pray all this, Jesus.